Handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Golden Gate Fields here on Sunday. It's the 14th of June, 2020. Go look at the 8th race from Golden Gate, but before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kit 5 for more selections for race courses around the world. And also join me Tuesday for the first day of Royal Ascot. I'll have previews and selection for that day and all throughout the week from Ascot, so check that out next week. And also join me next Saturday for my Belmont Stakes preview. But let's get to the 8th race from Golden Gate which is the featured San Francisco Mile, grade 3 purse, $250,000, race for 3 rolls and ups. We have a field of 8 horses going to the turf course, a distance of ground of 1,600 meters, or a mile on the Golden Gate Lawn, the turf course here in the San Fran Mile. One mile. Race usually run uh, early April or so, or late April, and uh, but with all those things up in the air, they had to uh, postpone it until closing day. Um, I believe today is closing day. I think Pleasanton opens next Thursday, uh, so it's going to be uh, uh, basically, I, I, if I'm not mistaken, I could have swore Pleasanton is going to be running basically from next week until uh, early August, so then it's going to be quite a long meet there, so it's going to be fun-ish, but no turf racing, which sucks. And then Golden Gate opens basically from next August until next June, so it's uh, another very long meet. But um, my top selection here in the San Fran Mile, I'm going to go with the 5-4, simply breathless. We'll go 5-7-3-1 in the Superfecta, 5-7-3-1 Super. Top selection, seven, the 5-horse, simply breathless. This 5 mare by Bated Breath, Neil Drysdale trains, Ricardo Gonzalez gets to mount. The horse's most recent outing came the 25th of uh, May at Santanita, mile eighth in the grade 1 game lane. The horse finished ninth by 6 lengths, off the break, had nothing, really just stalked most race, and never quickened up. It wasn't the day to win, but coming back here to a mile trip with a quicker pace, good post draw. I think this horse could start something. Uh, before that, the horse ran the grade one matriarch at Del Mar one mile December the 1st, and the horse finished 6 by 6 and a quarter lengths. It was wide around both turns, and just really couldn't quicken up. That was a very good grade one quality race. And then before then, the grade two gold to Cove at Santanita one mile November the 3rd. The horse finished second by two and a quarter lengths. Stalked most of the race. Joel Rosario lost a whip in the stretch. Just couldn't quicken up late, but still ran a decent race. And then before that, and the Athena here in New York at Belmont, a mile 16th October the 20th. The horse finished fifth by three and a quarter lengths there and again as the favorite just did not move that day but she had a very good debut here in North America actually won on this turf course in the Golden Poppy last year going a mile 16th came back to win the Wilshire at Santanita and had a very good third place finish in the Modesty Handicap at Arlington over the mile 316th trip and then took the horse to Kentucky Downs where she had a decent third but coming here sitting a little bit closer from a good post or a second off the break at 12 to 1 I think she could get a good uh, trip so let's take her so to recap my selection for the 8th from Golden Gates it's grade 3 San Francisco mile let's take the 5 horse simply breathless we'll go five seven three one in the superfecta so good luck to all and please follow me on twitter at horse racing kid five good luck everyone